Hello friends, are you feeling bored sitting at home? Come on, let's have some fun. Wherever you are, stand up on your feet and dance with us. God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, my God made the seas, my God made the elephants too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Come on, it's prayer time. Let's pray together and talk to God. Hello friends, how are you? Let's go to Christians in the Jesus Church. And today's prayer point is, pray for ministers of the gospel. Our pastors, children, church teachers, pray for all our esteemed pastors, children, church teachers, that the spirit of terror is stirred within them. And they will be more effective in the ministry of the gospel. So lift up your hands, close your eyes and pray with me. Hello friends, how are you all? Today we are going to learn a beautiful language which is sign language. Do you, do you know there are so many benefits of learning sign language. Sign language gives your brain a good workout which means you can focus on your studies and things better. It improves your peripheral vision and reaction time. You can communicate with babies too. It improves your communication skills. It helps you become a better listener and improves your body language skills. Wow! So come on, let's learn sign language. And our parents can also join us in this. Today we are going to learn song in sign language. Hooray! 
so come on, let's begin. All power. Yes, it all belongs to you, Lord. You created all this universe. Huh. All power. belongs to you what belongs to you heaven and the earth all that belongs to you what belongs to you what belongs to you in heaven and the earth all that belongs to you what belongs to you in heaven belongs to you what belongs to you in heaven and the earth all that belongs to you for Rhapsody of Realities for Kids. We are going to learn so many amazing things. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Welcome friends! It's time for Math Today. It's Rhapsody time. Reality time. Today's date is Sunday 9. Salvation. Hallelujah! Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3rd and verse 21 says, Therefore, let no one boast 
in men for all things are yours hallelujah praise the lord happy easter everyone hallelujah salvation is a word that represents all the good things that the death burial and resurrection of the lord jesus christ gave us you came into these blessings the lord these blessings the moment you were born again hallelujah what are these blessings they are divine health and health and healing a sound and intelligent mind second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 and many more beautiful things revealed to us in god's word hallelujah every child of god has the right to enjoy all the blessings of salvation because they were all paid for with the precious blood of jesus christ if you desire to know more about them and learn how to enjoy them study and give attention to god's word hallelujah praise the lord today's scripture reading is second peter chapter 1 verse 3 hallelujah praise the lord lift up your hands and close your eyes and say after me i walk in all the blessings of salvation and i live the good life full of health success excellence and peace hallelujah praise the lord god bless you bye bye it's time to have some more fun come on stand up and dance with us let's enjoy
praise the Lord, hallelujah, how are you all, say I am blessed, I am excellent and wherever you are with your friends, whoever is around you, just give them a high five and say welcome, glory, hallelujah and this is our year of the prolific church, glory, glory, hallelujah and this month of April is a special month, do you know why? Yes, because of the Easter service, hallelujah. And in this whole month, we'll talk about Easter, hallelujah. And today's topic is Lord Jesus and the cross, hallelujah. And you can go ahead and read the Bible verse from Matthew chapter 26, verse 47 to 57, hallelujah. And over here we see that Lord Jesus was speaking to his disciples, you know. Over here you can see while Lord Jesus was still speaking to his disciples, you know, Judas, he comes with a large crowd armed with swords and clubs. Praise the Lord. The chief priests and the elders of the people sent them hallelujah to arrest Jesus, hallelujah. And Judas had plotted to arrest Jesus, you know, with the chief priest and the elders, you know, Judas, you know, they made this whole plan. And Judas, Judas said, the one whom I will kiss, catch him, he's the one. And Judas came close to Lord Jesus and kissed him. Jesus said, my friend, do what you have come to do. And the chief priest people, they come ahead to arrest Jesus. And one of the disciples of Jesus, you know, he takes out his sword and he cut the ear of one of the servant. And Jesus said, stop, put it back, hallelujah. Don't you know? If I ask the Father, He can send a twelve legion of angels right away. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But all this was happening so that the scriptures can be fulfilled. And Jesus said to the crowd, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come to arrest me with swords and club? Hallelujah. You saw me preaching in the temple, but at that time you never came to arrest me. Now you have come. But as I said, all this was happening so that the scriptures can be fulfilled. And as the scriptures said, you know, all his disciples, everyone who was with Lord Jesus, they fled from that place. And the people arrested Jesus and they took him to the, the chief priest and the elders of the people had gathered at one place and they decided that they'll hand over him to Pilate and truly Pilate did not found any you know wrong or in him in Lord Jesus he did not found him guilty but the elders the chief priests, everybody, you know, were pressing charges on him. They accused him of misleading people. Hallelujah. And they said he deserved to die. But Pilate did not find anything wrong in him. And during that time, you know, the Passover was going on, wherein on request of the people, he can let go one of the prisoners, hallelujah. Pilate said, what to do? What do you want me to do? He actually, he wanted to save Jesus. That is why what he told the people, what do you want me to do? Should I leave Jesus or should I leave Barnabas, who was actually a notorious criminal? He did a lot of wrong things. He was a bad man, hallelujah. Actually, the king wanted to save Jesus. He knew that he was innocent, 
but people were pressing charges on him that he deserved to die that is why what the king what the pilot did he asked the people what should i do should i leave jesus or should i leave barabbas who was a notorious criminal he did a lot of wrong things he was a bad man but you know what happened look people said leave barabbas and not jesus they said let jesus be crucified and leave this notorious criminal hallelujah and he had no choice because he had to do whatever the people were saying and you know he did not want to punish jesus but he had no other option that is why he said the people okay take him crucify him hallelujah and that notorious criminal was let free hallelujah praise the lord so they took lord jesus to crucify him they tore his clothes they put a crown of thorns on his head they spat on him they said all kind of bad things hallelujah and they took jesus to be crucified they put nails on his palm on his feet hallelujah and they crucified him and lord jesus was crucified you know he was placed between two thieves you know one was on his right and one was on his left hallelujah and during that position jesus was so calm he did not say anything wrong because he knew this was god's will everything that is happening is according to god's plan hallelujah but jesus was in so much pain he cried out loudly lord jesus was in so much pain he cried out loud and died praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah why do you think jesus was ready to lay down his life because he knew god had a plan god had a purpose hallelujah god had sent him god had sent him with a purpose hallelujah what jesus did on the cross he took all our sins everyone sin on him hallelujah and lord jesus gave his righteousness to us praise the lord that is why when god sees us he does not look at us as sinners anymore for now we are his righteousness through lord jesus hallelujah what is righteousness it's the nature of god to always do right and because now we have his righteousness we can have fellowship with god we can serve him we can live for him there is no intercessor needed we can directly have fellowship with the lord hallelujah with god hallelujah earlier they needed someone you know praise the lord but now after what jesus did on the cross we had that liberty to have fellowship with god directly how isn't that amazing jesus did this for us hallelujah he took all our sins praise the lord it is it is it was not easy for him it was not easy for him but he did it because that was god's will for his life hallelujah so no matter how painful it was he did it because that was god's will hallelujah and as a child of god now we are free to serve him to live for him to have friendship with him hallelujah praise the lord as i said he gave his righteousness to us today we are his righteousness hallelujah say with me i am the righteousness of god i am the righteousness of god and now I can have fellowship with God. I can serve Him. I can live for Him. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. So, as I said, in this whole month, we are going to talk about Easter. So, we have just started. 
there is so many more things that we will discuss in the coming sunday so don't think it is you know finished no we just started hallelujah so you will share more things in the coming sunday so make sure that you're joining us and whatever i have shared today share it with your friends tell everyone what jesus has done for them hallelujah praise the lord and see you next sunday till then bye bye and god bless you wow we learned so many beautiful things today and now it's time for confession hallelujah praise the lord welcome friends it's time for confession lift up your hands and close your eyes and say after me i have been called and chosen to showcase the glory and blessings of god i am an expression of his love my life is full of glory blessings and love hallelujah praise the lord bye bye praise the lord hallelujah if you're watching our program for the first time and you have not received jesus as your lord your friend so here is the opportunity you can say this prayer with us and you can receive jesus as your lord and savior your friend hallelujah so wherever you are you can rise up on your feet lift up your hands towards heaven close your eyes and it is important to believe and say this prayer after me praise the lord hallelujah so you can say after me dear father i believe in jesus christ son of the living god i believe jesus died for me and god raised him from the dead he is alive today i receive jesus as my lord and savior thank you father for saving me and for now i am born again through him and in his name i receive eternal life and from this day i am a child of god in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah praise the lord if you have prayed this prayer with us welcome to god's mighty family hallelujah and right now i will pray for you thank you father for each and every one who have received jesus as their lord and savior thank you father i say satan has no power over their life jesus is their lord and savior i bless them with your word with your spirit with your grace they walk in health yes they walk in divine protection thank you lord all things are working together for their good in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah praise the lord once again welcome to god's mighty family glory glory hallelujah this is the time where we can give our offerings if you're watching us online details are on the screen you can speak to your parents and you, you can give your offering through bank transfer if you're watching us from a center you can give your offering in the center itself right now let's pray for the offering thank you father for giving us the grace and the opportunity to bring our offerings thank you lord for the offering is sanctified by your spirit o oh lord thank you father as we have given we receive a multiplied harvest in the name of jesus we shall not lack any good things in our life thank you lord we invoke your blessings upon them for the furtherance of the gospel thank you lord in jesus mighty name we pray amen praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah in case you're not well you're sick This is the time where we'll pray for you. Always remember, it is God's desire that we should always walk in health. He has given us divine health. Hallelujah! And as we are praying, believe that the power of God is at work, and you're receiving your healing. So wherever you are having any kind of health issue, just lay one of your hands over there. 
Lift up the other hand. Let's pray together. Leka mata pika si ka balakata ke po sha kali bados ko pa ki alapate moka ta ke basi ka balakata pe ka basi ta mata pe ka balakata pe ko si ta pata ke po si ta eka pa ke eka pa ke ko ta pe ka kasi ka balakasi ta matos ko prakasai ta labade. Thank you, Father. I pray for each and every one who is sick, O oh Lord. I command every sickness, every infirmity. Yes, O oh Lord. Oh hallelujah, that power of darkness which is which brings sickness, oh Lord. Lee Bashatamatos ko pati alasaki in tos kitala out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, oh Lord. They walk in health, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Every part of the body is functioning properly in the name of Jesus. As we are praying, Lord, your power is at work, Lord. Health is restored in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm sure you all have received your healing. Our details are on the screen. Do call or messages and let us know what God has done for you. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you all had a great time today. And as I always tell you, whatever has been taught, share it with your friends. Share, share it with everyone around you. Let them know our God is a great God. Hallelujah. Watch this program again with your friends. Share the program link with your friends. Hallelujah. Right now, let's thank God for His love, grace, hallelujah. So wherever you are, you can rise up on your feet, lift up your hands towards heaven and let's thank God. Thank you, Father, for your love, for your word, for your grace. I pray for each and everyone watching this program. They are blessed and are a blessing, O oh Lord. All things are working together for their good. Your wisdom is at work, O oh Lord. The spirit of understanding is at work, O oh Lord. All yes, O oh Lord. They are champions, O oh Lord. They are preaching the gospel like never before. They are blessed. Thank you. There's peace, joy in their family, O oh Lord. They walk in abundance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They are protected in their coming in and going out, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So make sure that you're joining us the coming Sunday. Till then. Bye-bye and God bless you. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share. Thank you and God bless you.